Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we are going to talk about the most famous love triangle in classical music. Robert and Clara Schumann were a powerful, much-loved musical pair during their lifetimes. Both had separate success as composers and pianists, whilst also having a hand in popularizing each other's works. And then, along came Johannes Brahms, a fellow composer that the pair befriended in the 1850s. What started out as a simple friendship between the three soon turned rather complicated. The pair met in Germany and got engaged in 1837 once Clara had turned 18. Clara's father had actually turned down Robert's request to take his daughter's hand in marriage, and so the pair went through the courts to sue him. The judge eventually allowed the marriage, and the pair made it official three years later. They had eight children together. Around 1853, Robert sent Brahms a letter of introduction. Brahms was delighted, and entertained the Schumanns at their home with a performance of some of his own compositions. The pair were deeply impressed and formed a friendship with him immediately. Robert had a mental collapse in 1854 and gradually started deteriorating. It was an incredibly distressing time for Clara, and so there were a few musicians who would regularly play for her and write pieces for her as a way to distract her from what was going on. One of these musicians was Brahms. Himself and Clara grew ever closer during Robert's illness as Brahms became a reliable emotional support for her. He was equally a big support for Robert, visiting him regularly at the mental institution that he was being held in. Clara believed Brahms had been sent straight from God. It is widely believed that Brahms never physically acted on his feelings for his best friend's wife while he was still alive. Upon Robert's death, the pair were free to declare their passion if they so wanted to. However, for one reason or another, Brahms decided to focus on his career. Brahms went on to travel and perform, and he had affairs with numerous women but never settled long-term with anyone else. Clara, meanwhile, threw herself into performing and popularizing Robert's compositions. Whilst they never seemed to actually become a couple, the two did maintain a very close and affectionate relationship, growing even stronger in their love for each other while still pursuing other things in life. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.